Hello foodies! Welcome back! Today we are making sesame chicken. Everybody loves these crunchy nutty bites of chicken. They are delicious. Today I'm going to show you how to make it better than your local takeout. Not only this, we will air fry the chicken instead of deep frying. If you're looking for more instant pot, electric pressure and air fried recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every week. Let's start with marinating the chicken. We will use boneless chicken legs cut into 1.5 inch of pieces. For the marination, take one large egg, a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon salt, and a pinch of baking soda. I recommend using chicken legs. It gives you juicier and tender results. You can use chicken breast as well if you wish to. For this recipe, we will take one pound of chicken cut into 1.5 inch of pieces. Combine it well and let it sit for 30 minutes. I have been testing different ingredients to make the best sesame chicken and I found potato starch makes the crispiest sesame chicken without deep frying. In a Tupperware, dump half cup of potato starch then put chicken pieces one by one. Don't throw in the chicken at once, it will stick together. Cover the meat with other half of the starch, put on the lid and shake well for few minutes. All the pieces should be coated evenly. Look, all the chicken pieces are evenly coated. You can use this trick whenever you are coating your chicken with flour or any dry ingredient. Preheat the air fryer for 5 minutes at 350. Grease the pan or basket with some cooking spray. Shake off the excess starch. Now arrange the pieces in the air fryer. Let them cook for 8 minutes total. 4 minutes each side. Flip the pan or basket in between. After 8 minutes, our chicken is completely cooked. We are going to dish it out on a platter and work on our sauce. Wow, look at the chicken nicely coated. I can even eat it like this. Right now, you can see all the ingredients we need for the sauce. Check the description box for the written recipe. In a skillet or pan, add 2 tablespoons of sesame oil, a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a teaspoon of red crushed chilies, half a teaspoon salt, and a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Now we will add 2 tablespoons of sweet and sour sauce. You can skip it as well, but I like the flavor. Now add a tablespoon of sesame seeds. 3 tablespoons soy sauce, a tablespoon of honey, and 2 tablespoons tomato ketchup. Stir it well until combined. It smells so good. Keep stirring the sauce at medium heat. Bring it to a boil, then add a teaspoon of potato starch dissolved in 3 tablespoons of water to thicken the sauce. Keep stirring until well combined. Introduce the chicken in the skillet. Toss everything until chicken is nicely coated. Cover all the chicken pieces with the sauce. Sprinkle it with sesame seeds and this is best served with white rice or fried rice. 
crispy crunchy sesame chicken is ready do try this recipe and leave us your feedback let's dig in hmm the perfect texture no one can say it's not deep fried and way better than takeout if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you have any question regarding any recipe leave us a comment i will respond to you as soon as possible thanks for watching see you in the next video